Hello there, and welcome to this task 1.4, which is in fact our final task for unit one, where we have been doing a, an exploration on language learning theories, uh, more or less taking a historical perspective as we've started with behaviorism and moving along the decades and history and time uh, into more contemporary ones. Now, we've taken a look at quite a few theories, uh, but because it's been a, a somewhat of a big number of theories, uh, we're just taking into account or considering uh, the general ideas, general principles, general perspectives, general characteristics. And with all of this, mashing it all up together and helping us to get a clear understanding of what uh, second language acquisition is in adults, and also, more importantly, uh, supporting our own views and belief on what teaching a language is and what learning a language is uh, when we're talking about adults. So that's more or less what we've been doing uh, from 1.1, 1.2, and last one, 1.3. In this final task, 1.4, now I have some good news here. We're just going to take a look at one theory. Unlike in the last 1.3, where there was a bunch of theories, in this one, there's just one. Now, you might say, well, this is great. You know, we were taking a look at so many other ones, and now it's only one. Yes, that's true. Uh, that's on the one hand. But on the other hand, because we're just taking a look at one theory, which is, by the way, social cultural theory, uh, that means that we're going to dedicate the entire time of this task to exploring it and taking a deeper dive into it. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, why is it that we're just taking a look at one here? Why is so, or what is so special about social cultural theory? Well, as it turns out, it's not actually that new. It was uh, put into place, put into motion by Vygotsky quite a few decades ago. However, because of other people getting involved along the way, uh, and it has been growing, it has been taking into account more and more uh, uh, aspects, perspectives, uh, whereas other theories in the past just take into account one or two things. Uh, for example, behaviorism only takes into account external, everything that's observable. It doesn't, it doesn't deal with anything that's internal of the human. Uh, the, on the opposite hand of that, the innatist take a look at everything that's going on in cognition but sometimes they don't take a lot of uh, considerations for external elements that may factor into learning. They just focus on what's in the brain. So uh, you have this clear or stark opposition, whereas, for example, social cultural theory takes them both into account and then some. So it becomes quite clear that social cultural theory is trying to be rather ambitious in, in trying to explain this elaborate, complex, multi-dimensional system structure that is learning a second language or learning in general, even to that matter. Uh, so that is why it is so special. That is why it, we need to take a look at it on its own uh, and observe well, what exactly is this system or structure or mechanism of implicit learning? What is explicit learning? What is scaffolding? What is zone of proximal development? Why is the social aspect and the cultural aspect so important? And how, in what ways is internal and external being combined in order to make sense and be congruent so that we can understand learning. How is all of this happening? How is all of this being put together? So, that, so those are some of the things we wanna take a look at as we explore this theory in this 1.4. Uh, and to do that, because there's gonna be quite a few concepts pertaining to this one theory, uh, you really wanna focus or, 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 uh, or take a, take a, a, a hand on uh, the forum participate in the forum, help each other out as we've been doing so far, surely. Um, post your questions, uh, clarify other people's doubts, uh, post your own questions so others can clarify your doubts. Again, I'll be jumping into the forums as well. 
we have some reading, some information to be exposed to, and uh, also to contribute to this clarification and deeper understanding of what this theory is. Uh, uh, there will be some instances where you can uh, record videos such as this, uh, this Loom video that I'm, I'm sharing here. But most importantly, towards the end, you want to figure a way or understanding if social cultural theory is actually relevant or important to your personal view and belief on what second language acquisition is. And if it is, in what way? And if it isn't, because maybe it isn't, in what way? So it's very important that we end up, as we close our exploration of theories, that we end up with a clear understanding of what I believe second language acquisition is, you as a teacher, you as, a, as, a, as an upcoming teacher, what is your belief on second language acquisition? What theories do you fall back on to support those views and belief? Because trust me, as we move forward into lesson planning, into strategies, into teaching techniques, into class management, and all those subtopics that are are derived from those uh, general ones. Uh, having a clear support system of theories, views, perspectives, and beliefs on what language learning is, it will just clarify any doubts that may happen along the way. Those things start to become obvious uh, because you're coming from a very specific view perspective. So that is why Having a grasp on these series is so important. But anyway, we're, we're going to dedicate the entire week to this. So enough with the introduction. Uh, we have forum to support ourselves, to help our social uh, learning happen. Uh, learning is not dependent only on yourself, but help yourself with other people, your classmates, with myself, so that learning happens collectively through the forum, through the videos, uh, participations. Uh, and also do your own uh, individual study so that uh, you can combine this social and individual study time to actually have a deeper understanding and a more profound understanding. Okay, let's get do it now.